morning everybody we've got a flatbed behind us I'm gonna bring this out to Morden Manitoba about uh, two hours from here a little southeast in Yonzeet near Winkler we're gonna uh, exchange it for a loaded one and bring it back here this loaded trailer we're picking up has three drops in North Dakota I'm not too sure what to expect uh, sometimes these loads are a little bit fun and challenging to tie down but I'm looking forward to it I'm always up for a challenge what was that you hear that vlog in here suspensions adjusting I just filled it up with air I can't hear any air leaks from here all the lights are working I'm ready to go tires are all filled with premium compressed air I'm just gonna check whatever that knock was it looks like somebody was karate kicking this tire at one point it wasn't me this trailer's been through a little bit of weather recently that's okay because it still works just as good and these aren't flashing because I have my brakes applied right now It's gonna be a good day. You wanna see what we loaded up? Mowers. Anyone got a, a lawn that needs mowing? I'm your man. I think I could do it in just two passes. Pretty big. <laughs> Unless you're talking about our yard. At home we could mow our yard in one pass with this thing. The only problem is I wouldn't be able to fit it through the gate to get it in the yard. <laughs> so here we go. Get that sun out of there so you can see that beautiful red color. Look at these tires, eh? The way they're made. You'd think that they'd break apart, right? But I guess they don't. I guess they don't. But Airless tires. I don't think you can go very fast on those ones, so you don't want to be going down the highway with your mower. I don't think it's safe to go highway speed with these tires. Maybe with these ones, though. These ones are filled with air. I still wouldn't recommend going highway speed with them, but uh, hey, it's free country. That's what they tell me, anyways. You want to give her? Let me know how it goes. I'm going to go the speed limit, though, with the truck. And uh, if I see you flying down the highway passing me with one of these, well, then I know you can go highway speed. I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah, three big old mowers. So these two got the the two is like butterfly mowers. That's what I'd call them, right? And that side's got just the one that folds down that way. And they're all locked up. I made double sure that all these mowers are locked up. They're not going to fall down on me. And they're all going to North Dakota. I'm going to bring them back to our yard. There's another driver that's going to take it from there and bring it on down to our good friends, the Americans. Your mowers are on the way. I got them. I got them. They're safe and sound. They're in good hands. You know, this is a good truck. It's not a bad truck, right? It just needs a little bit of cosmetics. And I'm... Um, trying to uh, see if I can do a couple of cosmetic upgrades myself, right? Maybe I can buy like matching half fenders at least and throw them on here. That'd be nice. I'd like to get a set of headlights for this thing. I'd like to get the classic round ones and throw them on here myself. I don't know if this is detachable. It needs a few little things, but it's an old work truck, right? But with a little bit of investment, if I'm willing to uh, to go for it, a little bit of paint, a little bit of cosmetics, I mean, it would look really good. It would look really good. I wonder if I could find a, a little, what they call a coffin sleeper, just from behind here. There's a tiny little sleeper, you know? fiberglass fenders maybe okay now i'm dreaming too big but uh yeah i'm sure they wouldn't mind if i'd uh add a little things a new steering wheel and get rid of this but we'll see
see what happens in the future. For, like, I really like this truck. I like the wheelbase. I, I like the way it runs. It runs a little rough when it's cold, but it's an old truck. It's got almost 2 million kilometers on it. But the thing is, it has potential. All right? Maybe I'm willing to... Uh, to uh, add a add a few little details on here, if I can figure out how to get that done, we'll see. What do you guys think? What what was what would be the first thing you would do? All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Well, let's pull these a little ways down the road and check, stop and check all the straps. They should be tight. Everything should be good. Let's make sure the trailer's not going to fall off. That's very important because I'm assuming it would be very embarrassing to lose your trailer on the highway. Very embarrassing. And that would be a terrible phone call to have to make into, into the boss. Terrible. I don't ever want to make that phone call. So we're just gonna make sure we don't do that. Oh, okay. there we go. Oh, okay. All right. Heavy duty mowers coming through. There we go. See, I'm just gonna pull out onto the street up here. I need to make sure that I closed all my cubbies and compartments on the bottom of the truck. I don't remember. pull up by the grass over there get out of these people's way I don't want to block them in it's been seasonally hot around here I think we've broken two records the last couple of days for the hottest day on record at on at this time of year it was really warm yesterday there we go Quickly jump out there. You guys can come with me. Okay. Oh, you see? This bungee here is supposed to be covering that. Okay, that's one thing I wanted to check. On the other side there, it looks like I have it all. Closed and closed. All right, we should be good. So many bees and wasps. As soon as you park, there's always a bunch of wasps. Oh boy, all my stuff here looks me it looks messy, but it's organized, okay? Trust me, trust me. And that I need to throw out. It's almost the end of the week. Get out of here, you wasp. I will fight you, punch you in the face in your little wasp face in a very kind and loving way get out of here I hit him I got him all right we don't condone violence on this channel unless if it's against wasps evil little creatures they don't even make honey do they or maybe they do what do I know I like the ones that make honey those are good the ones that sting for no reason, just because they're trying to get into your truck, those are annoying. Excuse me, excuse me, I'd like to enter the roadway. Off we go. Nice little car there. All right. Needs a paint job. Or maybe that was the paint job. Maybe I offended him. I'm sorry. Very nice paint job. Good sir. Very nice. I like the old rustic look. Very nice. It's the same look as this. <laughs> look at these beautiful fall colors. Very nice. It's so weird. Those trees are all almost empty, bare of leaves already, and these ones are still green. 
Hey, look, a dog. Hello, dog. It was a dog and their pet human. That's a Roman Catholic church, no way. I always thought Roman Catholic churches were like huge and uh, had a big steeple and stuff. I always thought they had the nice buildings. I guess not always. Wonderful. So we go this way, we go around town. This way I don't gotta go down Main Street. Take my mowers around town. Apparently I get in the way if I go through town. Eh. I'm always in the way. Life of a truck driver. I'm always in everybody's way. Nobody likes me. Everybody wants me to go around the outside of town. No one wants me to use my fancy Jake brakes. I think they sound beautiful. You got my paperwork, right? Yeah, it's right here. Good. So I'm not sure if I'll uh, have another assignment this afternoon yet. Because it's actually a federal holiday today. Uh, it's September, uh, that, 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 that new holiday. Uh, Truth and Reconciliation Day. Uh, I'm still working on it. Because it's a, since it's a federal holiday, uh, everything provincially can still be open. It's just like federal things like uh, schools, banks and stuff like that. They have the day off today. So we get uh, September 30th off as a holiday and also Thanksgiving two weeks later. So it's like a double whammy. Long weekends, almost back to back. Well, it's not a long weekend. It's a Thursday today, but. So the roads are a little bit quieter today, but for the most part, everything's still open. Just waiting in line for my truck wash. I'm trying to stay on top of this thing. Winter's coming and it's gonna be impossible to stay on top of it then. These car washes probably make a killing in that season. <laughs> but you gotta keep the vehicles clean, right? Image is important. You wanna have a clean vehicle and it's not just important for looks, it's also important to keep your vehicle in good condition. You want to keep the road dirt, the road salt in the winter time. You want to keep that off your vehicle if you want it to last a long time. As you see those vehicles out there, you can tell the ones that haven't ever been washed once. You know, maybe they're like 10 years old. This thing's a, a 2016, so it's not quite 10 years old. But you know, you get, you get around that age and you can just tell if they've never been taken care of, never been washed, because they're all full of rust. And you can just see the water lines from the rust spot as it just leaks down the side of the vehicle, the whole rust, the rust leak. I don't want that for my vehicles. I want to keep them clean. Plus, it's always nice showing up in a clean vehicle. It uh, gives a good impression, especially if you're going somewhere for the first time. First impressions are key. You show up with a clean vehicle, it shows that you care enough to take the time to maintain your stuff. So I try to keep the vehicles as clean as possible. I have the pressure washer at home. I have uh, a plethora of bull snot products. I haven't mentioned them today yet. <laughs> so I don't really have an excuse. If my vehicle's dirty, that just sort of means I'm being lazy. And I don't want to be seen as lazy, so I better, be, I, I better show up with a clean vehicle, right? Maybe not everybody shows the same amount of... Uh, attention to image or maybe they don't think it's as important. I don't know, let me know what you think down below. I always think it's very important. If someone shows up 
to my house for a visit or uh, shows up to an appointment or something and they have a clean vehicle, right off the bat, that's a great first impression with me anyways. Maybe not for everybody, but for me, I look at that as a good sign if they show up with a clean vehicle. If they show up with a filthy vehicle that hasn't been washed in months, I try not to judge people, but it's just better if you show up in a clean vehicle. All right, it's my turn. For some reason, this car wash has not liked my pickup truck in the past. <laughs> I've had three incidents in this one, but I keep coming back. I think it's doing it again. It goes too far around sometimes, and it doesn't get my whole truck. Let's see. All right, it's about at the halfway mark here. I think that's better than last time. The last time it came through and it was like up to here, it left this huge gap up the middle, and then it didn't finish my whole car wash. It left it all full of soap and then like sent me through to where it gets chamois dry, and they had to back me up and send me through again, and it still didn't do it properly. And then one time, this arm that goes around here hit my truck. Oh yeah, it's doing a good job now. It's right down the middle. <laughs> it hit my truck, scratched it. The owners were really cool about it though and they were, they fixed it and they replaced the damaged uh, part like right away. They were really good about it, made it right. And that's why I keep coming here. They got really good owners. And you know, sometimes it's not their fault that their machinery uh, glitches. All machineries glitch every now and then. Accidents happen. They just always seem to happen to me. Why is it always me? Here it comes. I think it's doing, yeah, it's working properly now. Oh yeah, see last time it wasn't even like touching my windshield, it was like going down on the edge there and it would go way too far around. Oh yeah, that is doing good. It just feels good to get a, get a, get a wash. It's like a massage, you know? And then you move up over there and then they chamois it all nice and dry for you. It's a really good service that they have here. That's why I keep coming back. The machine just doesn't like me all the time, but I don't care. I like it. I'm gonna keep coming back. Oh, now it's giving me the unicorn poop. Oh, it smells like bubble gum. <laughs> and then another time in this same car wash, I was in the spot behind this where they, they, they wash it by hand first. And uh, the person in front of me was backing up for some reason. I guess the machine was telling them to back up and they like floored it or they, I don't know what happened. But anyway, the, the vehicle that was in front of me kept backing up and backing up until they hit me behind them. Like they backed right into me. They had to make a big incident report and everything. There was no damage to my truck because I was actually in uh, the terrain then. So I don't think it's the vehicle that's it. I think it's just me. I, I think the machine just doesn't like me. It has something personal against me. But yeah, <laughs> it told the person in front of me to keep backing up and backing up until the vehicle hit me. Oh boy, I've had all kinds of fun in this car wash, but I keep coming back because it's my favorite one. The only other good one in town uh, is a touch wash that actually like touches your vehicle with the bristles. And I don't like that because I went through there once and it scratched my paint. And then I brought it to their attention over there that, hey, your machine scratched my paint and they refused to accept responsibility for it. So now I got like scratches all the way down my truck and I haven't gotten fixed yet. They're not too obvious, thank God, but they're there. So I keep coming back to this one. This is my favorite one. And it does a good job. 99% of the time. <laughs> ah, that clean truck feel. Mm-hmm. Now let's just hope that it doesn't rain overnight. <laughs> it is supposed to rain sometime soon. I probably should have checked the weather first. Ah, well. At least yesterday's dirt is off of it, right? We'll worry about tomorrow's dirt tomorrow. Let's check the weather real quick here. What's the weather supposed to be like? Sunny, partly cloudy. Thank God. I usually check the weather before I get the vehicles washed. If it's gonna pour overnight or the next morning or the next day, I'll just wait till after the rainstorm. Diesel that came. One of them did anyways. We ordered two brand new big beds for the big boys because their old ones were literally falling apart. And stinky. And very stinky. Yes. No how much we wash them. <laughs> so Chevy, are you excited? Whose is it gonna be? Is it gonna be yours or is it gonna be Diesel's? Diesel's, who are we kidding, right? Diesel. Signori. 
Seniority's mine. I'm old. Quibble. Oh. It's my bed. You want to open it? So we ordered two of these, and for some reason, Amazon sent one first. The other one's coming day after tomorrow, I think, or maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Look at this big Amazon box, though. This one came two days early. Yeah. You want to open it? Okay. You want to be the one? Careful. Here we go. Don't get your schnoz too close. What if I slipped? You could poke you with the very dull scissors. Careful. I wonder how big it's going to be. Judging by the box, it's going to be ginormous. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh, oh, my. oh, oh. Diesel, it. look at that. He's a new weasel bed. What is it? Oh. Wow. Oh, wow, that is huge. That looks pretty big. That's a big bed. Yep, hmm. that, that's a big bed right there. We may have overdone it. <laughs> <laughs> Might be bigger than our actual couch. Oh my goodness, Diesel. It's bigger than you. <laughs> it is. So these are their old beds right here. And let's get this box out of here. Watch out guys, yeah. watch out guys, watch Maybe out guys. Costco's no longer Excuse, me. Excuse me. Yeah, we got those at Costco. Can't get them there anymore. Boom. Whoa, 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 seniority. Diesel, Weezo. would you like to do the honors? Oh. So, oh, it's very nice, very nice. Smells brand new. Oh, it smells a little like China. It's very <laughs> nice, I like it. So, oh, oh. Oh, my. What do you think, buddy? Do you, you like, like it? it? <laughs> Chevy, yeah. you go check it out. Chevy, go on. Wow! <laughs> the thing is pretty big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It's nice though. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. Who's going to lay on it? Lay down, Diesel. Give it a good shot. Oh, it's, it's very nice. You guys could almost nice. share it. Wow. It's actually pretty thick. It's Sitting decent. Nice. Let's see. Let's give it the old head. Oh. I don't mm. think it'll quite support. Oh yes, way. oh yes, get out of the way, get out of the way. The boss is in the bed. Oh good, we got oh. daddy in bed, now we get the queen. That's nice. That's nice, eh, Diesel? Not too bad, you're squishing it. Stay off. Okay. Right on. Do you want to go check it out? That is big. Okay, go ahead, Commander. Give it your stamp of approval. Go ahead. Oh, you want to go on it? Go ahead. He looks at you. Can I? Oh, is that nice? Is it big enough for Avina? So I guess it'll do. Oh, if I don't fall over. 